started at Providence in fifth grade, and it was when we were still in the old school, um, in the old mall. And I continued there until graduation, which was in 2013. I started in the second grade when we were at the old shopping mall over near Cypresswood. Now seeing them in their new building that is their building and being able to step back as a college student having graduated from Providence and seeing the whole picture and seeing how God worked through each stage, I think that's something really cool and unique about my experience. One of the things I really appreciate about Providence was the community that we had. I think especially my senior year, I started to realize that I was in a really a unique place. My hope for our students is that, and, and what I see happen often, um, students who maintain relationships, these, these continue to be their friends and their support system. One of my friends, Kristen, who is a sophomore now at Baylor, um, we've been able to really maintain like a very close friendship. We meet on a weekly basis and have a little Bible study together and just kind of talk about our weeks and talk about what's happened and what's coming up and are able to encourage each other through scripture and prayer. I think first and foremost, Providence prepared me spiritually for um, life after high school. Just with the encouragement from all of the teachers at Providence, um, you know, spiritually, they always showed interest in, you know, your spiritual well-being. Carmen Watson was a teacher that I had for, I think, at least four different classes. She was integral to my time at Providence because she helped to instill and then cultivate a love of learning in me. I would be having trouble in French class and she would say, okay, let's meet on Wednesday before school starts. You know, that's academically, but also spiritually, she was always one to be quick to pray with me, pray for me, let me know that she was praying for me. Three years after I've graduated, she still wants to invest in my life and wants to know how I'm doing. Um, I just think that's really cool and a huge testament to who Providence hires for their faculty and teachers, so. Ah, uh, just, I just love these girls. I mean, they're, they're like my kids. One of the things that I love asking our graduates when they come back, you know, how are you doing? How are your classes? What classes are you taking? What are you learning? Um, so it's just encouraging to me to watch them continue to grow. I love Providence's mission statement to impact the culture for Christ because it puts the emphasis at a school, not just on academics, but on how the students are going to um, literally impact the culture in and out of the classroom for Christ. The transition spiritually, it pushed me, but it was also, I felt prepared. Um, you know, Providence, we take um, logic and apologetics. We're not afraid to tackle any subject here. They read Darwin and they read Sartre and they read Nietzsche and we talk about it. I think that Providence prepares students, exposes them to these texts, to the scriptures, and really teaches students how to think about them critically and how to converse with one another in love and in charity, but also with zeal. God is truth. Um, and his word is true, and it can stand up to any challenge we throw at it, and we want students to experience that while they're students at Providence, and that was something that really drew me to classical Christian education, that we were truly going to equip students, not, not shelter them or hide them from the world, but equip them to engage the world. I would tell the parents of any potential future Providence students that the teachers and the administrators care so much about the education that their child is receiving, but they care about the education of character just as much as the education of the mind. Their child would be going to school, you know, for the academics, but also would come out a stronger believer and with a stronger faith, just because that's what is first and foremost being poured into us and them as students.